Toglock, we got the Titans traveling to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. Titans only favored by four and a half points since the game on CBS. Uh, Titans coming off a heartbreaker for last week, right? You have, uh, sure you lose AJ Bryan and Julio Jones, uh, but still not a game you should lose against the New York Jets. Like, honestly, come on, guy. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Uh, Jacksonville is coming off a heartbreaking loss last week, too, because they honestly should have beaten the Bengals last week. Trevor Lawrence is taking that next step up. Now, unfortunately for us, as football fans, DJ Chark probably out for the year. At the very least, out for a long time. Eight weeks, probably, at the minimum. Uh, Jacksonville needed DJ Chark, but also, they don't really need DJ Chark, right? Like, DJ Chark's obviously their most explosive player, and it really hurts to lose him. But behind him, you have Marvin Jones Jr. already, who is no, known in the NFL as a game-breaker. He is awesome. You have LaVisca Chanel Jr., uh, who has been phenomenal when he's gotten the chance and honestly kept, you know, like, if Jacksonville had won, he would have been a large portion of the reason why. Now, the real question for me is that number three wide receiver, now that Chark's down, right? I think it should be Agnew, right? I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this, like, Agnew has been a receiver in this league for many years. He has been solid. For God's sakes, with Jacksonville this year, he had a 109-yard kick, uh, uh, kick that he returned for a touchdown. It's, like, insane. The man has insane speed, and yet, for some reason, they're putting in Taven Austin in front of him, and it makes no sense. He is nowhere near an explosive player. Uh, Jacksonville, I think it's interesting. You got still got James Robinson. Uh, Carlos Hyde is unfortunately, was unfortunately down with an injury last week. Don't know his status for this game. Um, that makes this game a little bit more interesting. If you have Carlos Hyde, you can do a little bit more of a split backfield, and you can split up the carries a little bit more evenly. But if not, you're going to have to go with James Robinson all the time because there's just not a running back on that team outside of Robinson that can really handle it. Um, tight ends, obviously, a concern. Uh, Dan Arnold's not bad. Wait, actually, Dan Arnold's a different team, I think. Wait, is it? No. Yes. Yes, I think Dan Arnold... Wait, Dan Arnold... Dan Arnold is a Jacksonville Jaguar, I'm pretty sure. But he's 100% a talented player. He's definitely gotten more used to this offense, which makes me think that they have a better chance of it. Using him more this week. I think this is Jacksonville's game to win. I think Jacksonville gets it at home. Their defense is starting to play better, although they're still not great. Andrew Wingard is one of my favorite players to watch in the NFL right now. Honestly, I think he's one of the underrated safeties in the league. Um... I think the Jaguars are going to pull off the upset here, and Trevor Lawrence is going to get his first win. Give me the Jags to win and cover. 